Hey guys, Jarek here, gonna be doing some more Black Ops 2. This time we got some domination on the map Vertigo. Let's go ahead and talk about Call of Duty. So, I don't understand a lot of things involving Call of Duty and why people like certain things about it. You know, to say it in the most blunt way possible, I absolutely despise everything about Call of Duty with the exception of Treyarch multiplayer. And you know, stick with me, you don't have to share the same opinion. It's perfectly fine if you disagree, but at least listen to my reasoning for it. Security. Call of Duty single player does everything I hate in single player games. And so many people, so many game developers, are basically taking after it. It is a linear walk of explosions where NPCs occasionally yell at you to do something and tell you to do something very vague. And if you don't figure out what vague task it is you need to complete, some arbitrary thing in the game kills you because you didn't do it fast enough. The reason this annoys me is because it's trying to impose this sense of urgency that's not really there and completely takes away any freedom the player could have in the game. Freedom is completely necessary to making a fun, good game. You need to be able to take the entire game at your own pace. Take whatever approach you want. If I want to go loud, I'm going to go loud. If I want to try to stealth, I'm going to stealth. I mean, maybe that isn't necessarily well, necessary, but don't force me to play at the game's pace. Let me go about the game the way I want to. No Call of Duty game does this. Even Call of Duty 4, which everybody loves it, but I absolutely despise Call of Duty 4 single player. Even the mission that everybody just fangasms over, that Call of Duty 4 sniping mission, I despise this mission with a passion. And I really, like, it genuinely annoys me that people like it, because, well, people are going to make more of the same thing. Because people like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I, I, I guess I'm getting into that point of, stop liking what I don't like. I don't, I don't want it to come out like that. But that mission annoys me because essentially what you're doing the entire mission is just following this NPC the entire time. It's an interactive, well, it's an interactive cutscene is what it feels like to me. Or occasionally you need to aim and occasionally you need to shoot something. I don't want this to happen. And I don't want it to be a linear set piece where you need to do the same thing over and over again. There's no replayability and never is different. It's very repetitive. You know, this genuinely annoys me. I want to be able to go through this sniping mission in my own way. You know, I'm not a sniper. I don't really care for it. But if I wanted to just flank them all with a suppressed pistol, I should be able to do that. If I wanted to go to this part of the map and snipe them from over here, or approach with different angles, I should be able to do this. But, no. The reason you can't do that is because it takes backseat to the important story set piece they currently have set. It doesn't match up with the story to do it your own way, so you can't. You gotta do it our way, because you gotta move to that next cutscene. It's important. You know, and that's what annoys me when games try to make story too important. Another great example of that is uh, Bioshock Infinite. You know, I don't hate that game. I genuinely, I, I did find it fun. But the gameplay did take a little bit of a hit. Think of the freedom that you had in the original Bioshock game. You know, you were dumped onto a map to explore and do what you wanted. Bioshock Infinite... It takes more of almost a Half-Life 2 approach, except for a little bit farther than that, where you have a linear path throughout the game where it's just murdering tons and tons of enemies to get to the next cutscene. You know, and I found the game fun, but it doesn't really hold up to the old Bioshock games as far as gameplay goes. So that's what annoys me about Call of Duty single player. Funny enough, the latest game I found to be okay, it was, it was the last game where I Advanced Warfare single player actually enjoyed more than the multiplayer of that game, which is weird. Most people find it to be the other way around. It was predictable, but, you know, it did tend to give you a little bit more freedom. That's my opinion about Call of Duty single player. I don't find it fun. I find it annoying. Very, very annoying. And just people like the things I don't like, I guess. And the next thing, which this is equally as true for Call of Duty Zombies, I hate Call of Duty Zombies. It does everything about a horde mode I don't want. For instance, oh and here, just so you know, I'm holding onto my killstreaks intentionally, there's only 30 seconds left in the round, so I want to keep it for the next round. And I'm, at this point, like, 
I'm going, I'm really close to my attack dogs and really close to getting swarm. Well, at this point, really close to getting swarm. I want to get this done before the end of the round. So I don't have to risk going in completely blind, getting that extra kill. Just one kill to get my highest kill streak. But thankfully, with only like a few seconds left, I get this kill and get swarm. Or the, the next kill and get swarm. This, geez, look at that. Two seconds left and I actually managed to get this kill right before it ended to get my swarm, which is pretty sweet. But yeah, zombies. Let's talk about zombies. I hate zombies. A lot of the reason is just kind of because why would I ever play this if I could play Killing Floor instead, which is way better. And I will talk about Killing Floor a lot as I'm explaining this, because I think it does everything right with a horde mode. You know, it is a little repetitive, I wish it had different bosses and stuff like that, which Killing Floor 2 is going to, which is sweet. But the things Zombies does that annoys me is, one, Zombies should not get stronger after each wave. That shouldn't happen. Two, the enemies are boring. I mean, they're zombies. They run up at you and they hit you. And the ending result is you kiting enemies around the map the entire game and eventually just slowly killing them and then kiting them around more. Like, there's no thought process to it. It's just kiting enemies around, mindless enemies over that are not even shooting at you, just kiting and kiting, shooting, more kiting. It's boring to me. Another thing, and this is the main thing that really annoys me aside from the enemies getting stronger each wave, the fact that many things are locked off in the game. It goes back to my freedom argument. Why should I have to spend a certain amount of money or points to unlock this door? Why can't I just have the entire map to explore and try to hold off in a certain area or do whatever I want to do? Why am I forced to unlock certain things? Why am I forced to buy very specific guns Instead of just, say, giving me a trader where I can buy any gun I want. And again, I'm pointing right back to Killing Floor because I think they absolutely nailed the freedom aspect of it. Where teamwork is important, but you can go across the map in any way you want. You don't have to kill the enemies in a specific way or go a specific way on the map. You know, it, it's not a campaign, it's a horde mode. So there's no specific way to go, you should just be able to survive you know, as long as you want with any way you want. And there's another thing that annoys me about zombie mode. Why does it never end? <laughs> you know, I like that about Killing Floor. I like being able to win. I like being able to have this final boss that I actually defeat. I don't want it to go on forever and ever and ever. I want it to eventually end with me feeling like I accomplished something. Yeah, I had a, I had a small panic attack because I saw the minigun. And I didn't see my teammate, so I didn't know if it was a friendly or an enemy one. But yes, I want to be able to win in zombie mode. Unfortunately, you really can't Call of Duty Zombies, and Call of Duty Zombies just isn't my thing. I've never really cared for it. And again, it boils down to, why should I play this thing that I genuinely don't enjoy when I could be playing Killing Floor instead, which does everything so perfectly? And yeah, Killing 4 may, might be a little bit more repetitive. A lot of the problems Killing 4 1 had, they're addressing with Killing 4 2. I cannot wait for that game. I am very excited about it. But let's talk about Call of Duty multiplayer now. As I said before, the only multiplayer for Call of Duty, well, the only Call of Duty anything that I actually genuinely enjoy is Treyarch multiplayer. Yes, this includes Call of Duty 4. I can play it and not want to kill myself, but I don't really find Call of Duty 4 to be that great. People look at it with huge nostalgia goggles. Just huge. The game is incredibly imbalanced, and they also seem to conveniently forget that it brought in things like Juggernaut and Martyrdom. Things that were not good to the franchise. And it was new and kind of different at the time, but to me that doesn't really matter. I mean, it's cool and I give Infinity Ward props for doing something different at the time, but why should I play that instead of playing something like, say, Treyarch Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 with essentially more stuff of the same, not too much content, not too little content, and all of it's balanced in correctly? There are some things in Black Ops that annoy me, but far less of that annoys me compared to Modern Warfare 2's massive clusterfuck, and it shows in the design process. Treyarch genuinely tries to make a game that is a balanced game, where the best player wins, whereas Infinity Ward tries to make a game that's just quote-unquote fun. Anyone can jump in and join the massive clusterfuck of bullets and explosions. They don't really care for balance, this is just what they do. They have completely different approaches for it, and that's why I don't really care for Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer Call of Duty, but I enjoy Treyarch Call of Duty. It's like my guilty pleasure. It's the one thing that I actually greatly enjoy. 
and I'm looking forward to the next Call of Duty game because I know Treyarch's making it. I haven't liked any of the other ones, but for now, you can just enjoy some Black Ops 2. I will be going back to Hardline after this, but enjoy this video while it lasts, and I will see you guys later.